All right, welcome back. Now, I want to have a conversation about tourism. One of my challenges with the way we do things um, in Ghana is that um, there's no cohesive um, intelligent connect connectivity in the ecosystem. So a lot of things are done in isolation. So we have one, one bit here, one bit there, and there's no um, coherent you know, connectivity of everything that says that we have a tourism industry, you know. Um, well, I want us to take a look at this report. This is coming from Shama. Fort San Sebastian. Lack of renovation, lack of publicity. People are not going there. There's a report that we have for you. Let's take a look at it. We'll get back and then we'll delve into the deeper conversations. The history of Ghana, and for that matter, the whole coast of Africa, can never be written or completed without Fort San Sebastian here in Shama which was built in the year 1526 by the Portuguese. Despite its significance to the history of this country that the youth of today must know, managers over here tells me that it is not attractive to tourists. But what is the reason? My name is Jasmine Zan. I'm the officer in charge at San Sebastian, Shama. Uh, Portuguese came here in 1471 as a missionary. When they came here, Shama was not like what we are seeing today. That is why they stay at the place where they have erected their cross. They were the first missionary to soil Africa here. The cross is now 551 solid years today. So from there, they migrated to this area where we have the fort. Sebastian was built by the Portuguese in the year 1526. They were here 1471. After they acquired this parcel of land, they went back to Portugal. When coming, they went and stayed at El Mana, El Mina. So for their second coming, they came and built this one. They were here 1471. When the Dutch came and fought them, it was the Dutch who built this surrounding walls because the Dutch were here for slavery. Portuguese were here for missionary job and the Dutch were here for slavery. So after two years, the Dutch came here 1630 to 1640. So they went back, and the English also came and fought the uh, Dutch. 1664-65. It was the Dutch who introduced us into a uh, mirror this thing, marketing. They took much of our gold. They bought us mirror, then they took much of our gold to their every day. So this thing went on for a uh, very while. When one young man known as Dr. Anthony William Amon, Amon was at the age of semi when he was captured as a slave by the slave raiders from an axim, a small village called Medina. The relatives were brought here, sent to Germany. Somebody adopted him. So there, Amon started, after 10 years, Amon started schooling and he became the first African philosopher and master of fine arts. So after 81 years, Amu was brought back. The German got to know Amu at all not from German. So he was sent back to, knowing very well that he can go back to his motherland, that I don't know, but he couldn't go. So not quite two years, Amu died because of malaria. That is why Amu had been buried here. What is the significance to Africa? Why should people come here and watch? Yes. We, the Africans, ought to know that we have some personality of which we ought to bring him on, uh, him on board. The tomb must to be renovated. We have to renovate the tomb for people to know, the others to come and visit here. We have so much money of which when we put in place, Shema for Sebastian will get money. Okay. We'll get money, but uh, look as if uh, we have all closed our eyes. Most especially this assembly, they, they, they don't want to listen to what we are saying. Okay. We don't get the risk. Why? Because uh, people, or much of them, do, never knew we have a fort here. We have to advert. We have to do advert. We have to do advert for people to know that we have for San Sebastian over here. Whenever it it, it, it brings a leakage 
and uh, cracking. Master, you cannot sleep here for a night. Whenever it gets to ruin, you can never sit here. The managers would have loved to see more tourists actually coming to visit. It is not happening so because of the issues of deteriorating and the issue of painting. The assembly, who should have also come to the aid of the facility, says it is beyond their finances. This fort is one of the most significant fort in this country and should be developed in that it is among the first fort that was built by the Portuguese in this country. And so this is a monument that should be properly developed. But the assembly over the years, due to low revenue uh, base, have been have not been able to has not been able to build this fort to the extent that we can we can use it to attract people. One our road, the road that leads to the fort is in a bad shape, and so uh, we were very happy um, when we heard the president announce categorically that the, he has allocated ten million dollars for the development of tourism in Ghana. And so we as an assembly want to take an advantage of this situation and ensure that we develop this fort to increase the revenue and more importantly, help the president to achieve the goal of Ghana beyond it. Right, so a report on San Sebastian, that is a fort in Shama in the Western region. Isaac Danso is the Western Regional Principal Resource Officer, Ghana Tourism Authority. Thank you very much, Mr. Danso, for joining us on Breakfast Daily. Thank you, too. Why is San um, Sebastian in this shape? Actually, the Ghana Tourism Authority is one of the implementing agencies of the Ministry of Tourism. And I believe you spoke to uh, the uh, Ghana Museums and Monuments Board, which are the direct uh, people in charge of this port and uh, when it comes to uh, the Western region, we have uh, the highest number of these colonial edifices in the whole of the, the country. But uh, the state in which they are, some, some of them are. It's not the best. And so, as uh, the guy from the fort said, we are very happy that the government is looking in that direction to renovate some of these. So, we, are, we as a, an authority are responsible for the marketing and the promotion of these edifices. But the issue is when you take the stories, they, they are not impressed and hence we don't get a repeat with it. And so the, the, the way to go is to invest in these edifices so that we can have them in good shape for people to keep coming. So when you take um, tourists there, they are not impressed. What do they say? What exactly is the issue? Yeah, it's the, it's the state in which they are. You know, some of these have been built way back as in the 15th and 16th century. So definitely time has, you know, made them go, 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 like deteriorate and uh, um, go in a, in, a, in a bad state, put them in a bad state. So the issue is to keep investing in them, to put them in a good state, that somebody who comes there, for instance, if you go to the urine house and then um, some of the receptive facilities, it's not in the best of shape. Uh -huh. So that is uh, what I mean by uh, they are not impressed when the tourists come. So, by investing in this and putting them in the best of shape, we have to peace with it, and then we also earn revenue from this. Because as the, the guy for the port said, these ports have some of the richest of history we have in, in, in Africa. So once we put them in good shape and we have the stories told by the guys at, the, at, this, at this place, we can definitely pull in the, 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 the tourists from all over the world. Right, so I, I know that it is the Museums and Monuments um, Authority that handles these forts, but I mean, you also work, you know, GTA also has that uh, mandate to promote these tourist sites. What yes. are your guiding principles? What are the measures, you know, um, that you also, in, in, in collaboration with the Museums and Monuments Authority, have put in place to ensure that we promote tourism and some of these facilities, you know, give us the needed revenue that we ought to get from them? All right. So when it comes to the promotion and marketing, we have... This initiative was in Sea Ghana, East Ghana, Fuel Ghana, and all. So now the, we are looking at promoting domestic tourism because, as you are aware of, the COVID 19 pandemic has hindered a lot of tourists from coming from outside. So now we are looking at promoting domestic tourism and in, in completing the practice of going around and visiting our, our sites into the children. So we are looking at promoting tourism in the schools and then in institutions. So 
apart from that, we, we are looking at organizing programs and events. Like we have the Chadi Boya in Christmas, we have the Kundum Festival, and then we also have the Atabakun, sorry, um, the Yeswator at Easter and Atabakun uh, during the 6th of March. So all these activities are meant to bring in the tourists, and definitely when they come, they would like to visit our attractions, like the museums and castles. Right. So these are right. some of the well, so, 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 so coming the back, coming back yeah. to, for instance, San Sebastian, yeah. Um, the authority, GTA, is supposed to be marketing these um, and promote these facilities. Now, That's right. the, the, the institution that is supposed to make sure that these um, edifices are in good condition are yeah. obviously, you know, not really living up to expectations. Now, how is that affecting your job? Because are you just wasting your time? Uh, not really, because uh, definitely we, well, once we are marketing the, uh, the, the tourism act, uh, the industry, we have to ensure that we bring in the tourists. And now that I said, we are keep in close collaboration with Ghana Museum and Monuments Board to ensure that the, 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 the tourists keep coming. As we speak, uh, uh, some of the, the attractions, uh, sorry, some of the ports have been renovated, like Apollonia in the Inn and Antonio also received some um, refurbishment. So it's not like all hope is lost. We are, we are, we are doing our best in collaboration with the Ghana Museum and Monument Board to ensure so, that... So, so my question, what I want to mm -hmm. understand is what exactly mm -hmm. are you marketing? Because you've rightly said that when you bring the tourists here, they, they are not yeah. impressed, they don't like it. So if these are the conditions of our tourist site, what exactly are you promoting? What are you marketing and to who? Yeah, I, I just mentioned that all hope is not lost. We need to invest in this to keep them coming. I'm not saying that uh, they, it would, uh, like we have, we're giving up hope. What, what we have to do is to continue investing in them. And I just mentioned that we are glad that the government also has looked in that direction by uh, devoting an amount to the, uh, the dedication to the renovation of these forts. So definitely when they come in to renovate and then uh, put them in good shape, then we, our job will also uh, be, be, be promoted. So it's not like we are, we are, we are, we are giving up. Hope. We, are so, uh, we know that there's a lot to be made in tourism, as you are aware. So... The issue is to look in that direction and then invest in this for, so that we can have enough of um, uh, what we expect from tourism to help the country grow. So let me ask a, a quick question before you leave us. Right. Um, right. do, you, do you have anything like the Forts and Castles Tour? That's a package at the GTA. Sure. We do organize packages all over. It's not just for forts. We have the uh, ones to the... Uh, we have packages for all kinds of how, and how much depending on your demand how much will it yeah. cost me to uh, take a forts and castles tour around the country around the country we, we will have to contact the uh, colleagues in the other regions if we want to do a national one so of it I can't give you an amount but we could work in collaboration with the regional offices we have regional offices in all the regions okay then I, th I don't yeah. think you understood my question Okay. You, you know, when you arrive in countries that are hyping tourism, okay. you, can, you can literally find, even at the airport, yeah. there are tour packages. The yeah. packages, even if you find them in hotels, they will okay. tell you that there are tour packages. So all you all have right. to do is to pay for the tour, and sure. the rest, the, 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 the tour uh, uh, um, operators will take over from there once you've paid for the tour, Right. Yeah. So um, the question I asked was, do you have a forts and castles tour package? Which means that if somebody arrives in Ghana and says, I want to tour all the forts and castles, is there a package like that that you say for, let's say, $1,000, $1,200, you can sit, all you have to do is to come at 8 o'clock, join the bus, and the rest, the, the tour uh, operators take over to run you through the tours. Maybe the tour will take you through 20 tours, uh, 20 forts and castles. Um, okay. or if I, that's yeah, if that's I what get, I'm asking about. All right. If I get you right, with that one, that, that, that is uh, mostly done by the uh, uh, tour, tour, tourism, uh, for what travel and tour organizations, right? They, they develop packages specifically. But we do tailor made. For instance, if we, we have a group of tourists arriving in the region and saying, oh, we want to these attractions in the region, we can do a tailor-made uh, package for you. But for the one that you are talking of, of considering the whole country uh, uh, and all that, we have uh, to to tourism uh, uh, organizations that, uh, for instance, we have Suga and all those, 
who are contributing to that. We don't want to take that, 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 that particular job. Because apart from the, the package that we do, we have a lot of other responsibilities. So we leave that to Tuga and those institutions to take that uh, up. All right. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much, Isaac. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, so that was Isaac Danso, the Principal Resource Officer uh, for Tourism Authority in the Western Region. You know, sometimes I ask myself, yeah. Ghana, yeah. what are our priorities in terms of investment? You know, because as, mm -hmm. as I sit here, I really <laughs> do not know. And I'm saying this in all honesty. Yeah. You know, I don't know if agriculture is our number one priority. I don't know if it's education. I don't know if it is tourism. We see you know, very all over the place. We don't we, seem we to have... We are scattered all yeah. over. We, yeah. we don't have, like, mm. you know, these are what we are looking listen, out for. Listen, I went to Zanzibar yeah. in 2018. At the hotel, there's a package called, a, a tour package called mm -hmm. the um, uh, Spice Town yeah. package. Spice Town package. Mm -hmm. Which means that they are literally going to take you on a tour to go and see spices. Yeah. Now, when we went, I was wondering what it was going to be mm -hmm. like. When we went, they take you, it's about, when you arrive at the spice yeah. farms, it takes, the, the tour takes you about an hour, mm -hmm. walking through the entire farm, showing you where um, turmeric comes yeah. from, how ginger rosemary, is grown, rosemary, there's that different spices, and you see life, the actual mm -hmm. plants, mm -hmm. Not, mm -hmm. you know, any funny... No, I mean, but even with these you know, packages, you know... Yeah. And, and as part of the package, you, when you arrive, they give you, you know, a coconut drink. So that yeah. you, so you have your drink as you're walking through yeah. the experience. Yeah. When you are done, then there's lunch made, you know, with some, some of the of spices that... No, there are packages in Ghana. Mm -hmm. There are packages But are these in not Ghana? private institutions? No, I, I, I really want to believe that the GTA... You see? Quite, I must say for GTA mm. that they are upping their game now. Okay. They are doing well you know okay. but i think that a country like ghana tourism mm. should be our priority yes you know because this is our comparative advantage hmm. you know now my issue is i'm very excited with the president's mm. intervention you know try um giving us the 10 million i'm saying us you know because i really feel myself i'm very no, well, it's, it's tourism, for us as a country know, yes. and, and and um releasing 10 million dollars mm. for renovation and stuff but mm. my point is why do we sit down mm for everything to collapse yeah. and then we carry huge sums of money to go and then we go and renovate yeah. then we will leave it again yeah. and then another 10 years we go look for money again to go and do this it is not practical it's, opportunity it's not for chop, chop. sustainable you understand but, it's opportunity. But, but, but you see the thing is we are not thinking too far because even if people want to chop you are better off making the facility function thank you bring in more people thank you generate a lot of revenue yeah spend yeah, some you, then you get some, some to and at least let's yeah. also use some to run the facilities mm. now you are bringing in um tourists when they come accommodation is a problem when they come i mean basic you know uh, 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 i mean things like washrooms restaurants all these things i mean i don't know, even understand it's a problem. how we have issues with washrooms and, I mean, and, and, as and, and as the, basic and as that. And this is the problem. And some of these washrooms are not in good conditions. You go, and, and I'm talking about the big ones that we know. Mm. So you go to the Kentampo uh, waterfalls. You go to all these places. And it, 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 it is very, very, very uh, appalling, you know, yeah. the kind of state yeah. we find some of these things. So you bring in people in to come and do what? Mm. Well, uh, the DCE for Shama is, uh, has joined us on the line, Ibn Zadazi. Honorable Ibn Zadazi, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm doing well and you. Very well, thank you. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Now, oh, okay. uh, just a quick one here. Um, tourism within your, um, your district, what is it like for you, I mean, since you took over as DCE? Um... You know, thank you very much for the opportunity, and uh, thank you for giving it. Um, tourism in my area, uh, to be honest, um, has not been the best uh, because um, the Fort Sebastian, that as you see it, um, has been a lot of problems with this. That needs renovation, and so. And uh, before my assumption of office, uh, it was in my plan that 
uh, this will bring in a lot of revenue if you keep serious and market it. And so, when I came in, we started um, trying to get investors to help us develop the area. And so, I've put it in my plan for us to renovate it and make sure that uh, we get the area, put it in good shape, so that you tra- it will attract a lot of people. In fact, it has a lot of benefits. Honorable, how, says, Honorable how long have you been in office? Oh, just for uh, eight months. Eight months. Okay. Yes. Okay. And and, and, and have you done anything yet um, as far as the Shama um, San, San, uh, Sebastian is concerned? Yes. Um, uh, what I've done is that uh, we, we've brought in uh, um, some investors to look at it. And also I've spoken to the companies around in my enclave here, we have energy enclave, I've spoken to them. They have all shown interest to help us develop the area. So, so when is work mm. starting for this development? Um, it will not be long, it will be very soon. Be very soon. But you don't have, you don't have timelines yet? Like yes, yeah, because, because um, we are looking for, uh, we are waiting for the companies to, uh, let's say, bring in money. Right? Because it's above the assembly. Right. Uh, it's above our capacity. So we are waiting for them to bring in a money for us to uh, renovate it. Right. Thank you very much, uh, DCE, Ebenezer Datsi. Thank you. All right. You know, so so this is it. Mm. I mean, we just have to let Mr. Dazi go because mm. no much can be done. If he is now going to talk to yeah. the companies and we are the be- the mercy of um, some companies Deciding who, who, who will think, how okay, much did we make revenue, do we have give. profit yeah. and all that? And we don't know, so it's very soon. We just don't have to waste our time. Yeah. You know? But Mr. Ntiamwa, this is on your table. Who's I saw Mr. your TV. Mr. Ntiamwa is the boss at Museums and Monuments um, Authority. Okay. I saw you speaking beautiful English, you know, on TV when the president, um, we, we uh, reopened the mm. National Museums and Monuments, ah, you know, okay. that has been yes. shut down for about seven years, yeah. you know. So this is on your desk. Honestly, if these things don't see life, you have failed. People should be able to come to Ghana. People should be able to say, I want to tour the country. And then somebody at airport says, go to Ghana Museums and Monuments Board. They have tour packages. Go to their website. And you know, go to these the, things. And, yeah. and, 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 and right there, they can check out the website. You can see. Make all, phone calls. Yes. Stuff. And another thing, David, is as we are renovating, as the monies are being released, you know, for the renovation of some of these tourist sites, please let us also renovate renovate the human beings who are there <laughs> because they are part of the tourism experience. It, it, you're so these right. Guys, these you're poor, so right. poor guys should stop harassing tourists. Yeah. When we come there, we have paid yeah. money to come and um, have fun, to come and, and learn an something. We are not there to come and buy food for them. They should stop harassing tourists, you know. For you are you, oh, so, so, so what are we getting? So, so next week is my birthday. So what is this? Yeah. Look, this is how we drive people this is away. Actually, you see, so when they say when they say that when they say that when the tourists come, they don't have a good experience. It has very little to do with the facility itself. Exactly. It has more to do with the behavior of the people and the experience they get. Thank you very I, you much. See, I actually didn't want to go to town on him when he was talking. Look, when I said as was talking, look, this is what it is. when you say that it's a facility. Everybody knows this is 400 years old, 500 years old. Yeah. We're not expecting a, a moving pick or a, or a you know, a, 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 no, a, yeah, yeah. Tam Palace. No, that's not what we're expecting. It's about the experience of the people when they are there on the ground. How do they feel? Who is harassing them, trying to pull money from them? Oh, this is the problem that we need to deal with. Let the experience be a good one. Well, The facility itself, we know it was, it's not going to be yeah. looking like a and pristine And you know, David, palace. sometimes all, no. it takes, all it takes is paint. Yes. Paint. We, honestly, paint. Yes, you're right. It's, and it's good enough for any tourist to come and well, be happy to see it. $10 million mm. we will be looking at what that money will be used for. Mm. This is Breakfast Daily. We'll be right back.